Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Friday, October 7, 2016, the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Donald Trump is telling Catholic leaders he's pro-life and will protect their religious freedom. Addressing the 18th Annual Catholic Leadership Conference taking place in Denver this week, Trump said, I have a message for Catholics. I will be there for you. I will stand with you. I will fight for you. I am and will remain pro-life. I will defend your religious liberties and the right to fully and freely practice your religion as individuals, business owners, and academic institutions. Trump last month announced a board of 33 faithful Catholic heavy hitters to advise his campaign. Planned Parenthood is mounting a $30 million effort to defeat Donald Trump. The nonprofit, which receives more than half a billion in taxpayer dollars each year, is spending $30 million in door-to-door -door campaigning in six swing states. The abortion giant will warn people that Trump will allegedly turn back the clock on abortion rights and will urge them to vote against him. Spokesman for the Planned Parenthood Political Action Committee said, quote, We think these three million voters are going to make the difference. In a lot of these states, they're going to be the margin of victory. A top cardinal is featuring a homosexual couple in a bulletin at his cathedral. Cardinal Christoph Schönborn of Vienna has long been known for his pro-homosexual statements. In 2015, leading up to the Synod on the Family in Rome, the cardinal praised a gay friend he knew who was in a, quote, stable relationship. The bulletin from his Vienna Cathedral shows a picture of celebrity Georg Urbanich together with his male partner and their adopted son. Following the 2016 Synod on the Family, the cardinal told media that the Synod's final report did not go far enough in expressing the need to, quote, respect, welcome, and value homosexual people. A Belgian bishop is asking the Catholic Church to allow rituals to bless gay unions. Bishop Johan Bonny of Antwerp, known for pushing greater welcome to homosexuals as well as loosening restrictions on birth control, says in his upcoming book, there's no way we can continue to claim that there can be no other forms of love than heterosexual marriage. We find the same kind of love between a man and woman who live together in homo pairs and lesbian couples. He believes the church should recognize such unions for their, quote, exclusiveness and stability. The CEO of Planned Parenthood slipped up in a live radio interview. On Tuesday, while being interviewed on Iowa radio, Cecile Richards admitted she did not know when a baby has human rights. At what point does that baby get the constitutional rights? Well, I don't really actually I don't know that there is a, a exact answer for that, because what... Richard stands with Democratic nominee Hillary Clinton and would like for abortion to be legal at all times throughout pregnancy. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about his new book, The Weapon. And check out The Download, where the panel discusses Tim Kaine's ban on Jesus. Please share headlines with your friends. Have a great weekend, and may God bless you.